Back then I was kind of like, nah, it's blocking off my vision. It looks hideous. I'm not about it. What's up everyone, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. In this one, I'm hyped up to share with you my thoughts on the eSight Eyewear 4. This device right here is a game changer. It is an electronic eyewear device. I try to shy away from calling them e-glasses because that ain't quite it. And we're gonna get into it in a bit. As per usual, I'm gonna let you know the good, the bad, and the ugly. What I love and what I don't love so much about this device. So let's get into it, but first, is talk specs. So this device is sitting at 434 grams. Yeah, your girl asked them. I want it to be specific. That's pretty lightweight considering how much tech and time has been put into this device. When you add the battery pack, it's about an extra 100 grams and the battery balances out the tech in the front. It has the halo featuring here that you can actually open up Bring it closer to your face depending on your preferences and also open the halo itself because if you have a big head of five head like me you're gonna need that space it's got the squishy part here and here for comfort it's not the best for curly hair it's funny when i did my negotiation meeting with them she's like i don't know how the halo is gonna fit on your pretty little curls i'm like oh you think my curls are pretty thanks i would put it on right now but we're trying to look cute for a little bit of this video so i will in a bit there's also some adjustments here, so you can change the prisms to better suit where your eyes are, which is so clutch, because if you have an eye that goes to the left, to the left, trying to be irreplaceable like mine, you're gonna wanna switch that a little bit in or out so you can actually use that eye. When you turn it on, the first thing you gotta do is take one of the two, not one, but two battery packs they give you, and you're gonna shake, 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 shake that battery pack, I think this is the sickest future. I don't know why I'm so excited about this, but this allows you to see visually without having to struggle to see your percentage, how much battery you got. So you shake and snap, flip it on. But before you do that, you're gonna click this button over here and hold it down until a white light appears. Over here, there's some braille, which I'm gonna show you in a bit, close up. There's some more braille. It probably doesn't even say anything. I can't read braille, so I don't know what this code means, but there's a gap in between and if you move it left and right, it zooms in and out for you. If you move it up and down, it changes the contrast. So that's one of the many ways that you can customize it with just this device. In the box, which I really like, by the way, because it's really good quality. You know how I am about packaging. Comes not only the second battery pack, but a remote and this is a cord that's supposed to attach to it, but I haven't been able to get it to fit. So I'm gonna have to message them and ask about it. They've also included a disconnectable cord, so you can charge this through your computer or through the outlet, which is what I prefer. I love this battery pack because it's so flat. We're gonna pop this on our head. We're gonna flip it down. And now we are rocking. So as I mentioned, you take this, you find the gap and you move. So now we're at 13X, which is actually my favorite magnification, lucky number 13, when I'm doing work on my computer. So I can, for the first time in a long time, see myself in the viewfinder. Yo, this is trippy though. Okay, so now that it's zoomed in the way I like, I'm gonna take the remote control and pair it, which is the first button. Don't let all these buttons scare you. This is super easy to use, and if you know me, if you've watched my vlogs or my channel for any amount of time, you probably know that most of what I do in my day-to-day -day life is from memory. If I wanted to quickly zoom out to get the big picture, the button underneath the circle pad, Finder. it's called Finder, but it should really Finder. be called Toggle because it's toggling between Exit It's toggling between zoomed in and zoomed out. Zoom in, zoom out. I'm gonna turn up her voice, you can hear better. Narrator volume two. But personally, I like it all the way down because my ears, I don't know what it is. Since I've become visually impaired, as I've lost more vision, I've become so sensitive to sound. Let me know if you're the same. It freezes. So say you're at an art gallery, and this actually happened to me a couple years back, I wish I had this, and you are looking at an installation and you have some friends that ain't got the time, I don't know why they came to an art exhibit if they don't have time, but whatever, 
and you want to know what the installation's about, but there's this huge panel with all this text, and you know how that goes when you're living life legally blind. You can freeze or take a picture and be able to read what it says so you know the vibe of what the artist was giving when they created that piece. Second button, which allows you to choose your filters. Switching to modes, filters. Once you do that, the up and down button chooses so that if you prefer things to have a certain type of brightness and contrast, it's just switching. Up and down, you go left and right. Normal, gray scale, blue on yellow, yellow on blue. Those last two? Black on white. Blue on yellow, yellow on blue, so weird. Gallery is where it gets black mirror on you. If you click this, Record video. now I'm recording a movie. This is such a sick function. You know that Black Mirror episode I'm talking about, the one where the guy keeps replaying his life? That's what this is. Video saved. Even though this has 15 minutes of internal battery time, it's still a good idea to unplug the batteries so that you always have something to interchange with. I think it's a very smart feature so that you don't have to stop what you're doing in order to catch a charge. But if you're like me, you probably won't even use it for more than two hours at a time when it lasts for three each battery. I'm going to move on to the bad now because I've already sung the praises and if you know me, I'm a petty penny when it comes to tech or anything I review. So this part personally is my favorite part of any review. Telling you like it is. Okay, so the first bad about this is that it ain't the most aesthetically pleasing. Anytime I have a meeting with any brand or company, the first thing I always say is I love your style and lookbooks. We have people on our team that are visually impaired or admired or found you from there. So for me, it was like challenge accepted to try to make this work and make it look stylish. I don't think it looks that bad on my hair. I want to see what it looks like when my hair is straightened. It probably gets less messy, right? But let's just call it spade a spade. It ain't the prettiest thing. I'm hoping one day they get to the Clark Kent frame kind of situation where you're just wearing glasses that look like glasses but do the most that's goals so until then this looks way better than the og east site you wouldn't catch me outside with that one but it's still got a ways away to go i do have to let you know that the color is a tad bit off those whites aren't quite crisp the grays are a little off things are just not looking like real life another thing that i put in the bad category is oh the learning curve of using this while working, like when I was doing my day job. <laughs> you should have seen me. I had arrived at frustration station, okay? I had the hardest time finding the cursor than filling in the spreadsheet. This was really good for making sure I was typing in the right thing for a change because you're never really sure. But for once, I had the confidence that I've been lacking for a decade when I was doing my work because I could actually see what I was doing. But anytime I move the cursor even a little bit, lost your girl was lost another bad is that you do feel the heat i know this has you looking spicy but literally it does heat up over time hopefully in the next model they can create a fan or something in there but then again it might look more bulky and who wants that this is already looking like cyclops or that guy from star trek but you can feel the heat which is why i like to wear more rolled out than closer up just because you don't really want that on your forehead especially I mean, now we're in the winter, so I don't mind the personal heater. But once we get to the warmer months, I don't want to be sweating. But the way that it bridges the gap in your everyday life, and I prefer using this more as a lifestyle tool more than a at-work tool, like for cooking, for making sure you're actually painting your nails and not your whole finger, for making sure that you are using fresh vegetables and not something that's spoiled, for checking ingredients and make sure you get the right one. This is gonna be something that helps you out a lot. Even when you're having fun, this is really good when I'm watching YouTube videos or if you have a movie night with your friends or when the theaters are open. They also have an app. So if you wanna use your phone and you find that more functional than the remote, that's an option as well. I think they really did think about all the different types of visual impairment and the lifestyles that come with it when creating this. It's honestly light years ahead of where it's been, but it's still got a way to go. Another bad that I wanna put in the ugly category, but it's kinda of like, it's not their fault, is the price, because this is visive. This is an 8K device, and you know me, I'm a shopaholic. If I stop for a couple months, maybe I could cop me one of these and have it, but that's still a huge commitment. It does come with a lifetime warranty. No, correction. It does come with a one-year warranty, and they give you five hours of tech support where you can do a consultation like I showed you in the vlog, 
or a walkthrough on how to use the functionality, anything, they got you. And I think it's really amazing because it has software updates as well. So as they improve whatever the new generation is gonna be like, it's kind of like an iPhone where they'll keep you up to date with this. It's a big commitment though. And if I know as someone who used to work two jobs and was visually impaired and thanks to the Rona, I'm down to one, Money is something that we don't all have to spare and make it rain. So it's not their fault. And I really hope that in the future, governments and companies, insurance companies especially, start to look at these as a necessity for the visually impaired. Out of the five senses, your sight is the most important. Maybe I'm biased here. Not maybe. I'm definitely biased here. But anything that can help you in the visual department is so essential. And I just wish that the world saw it so and bridge the gap. The ugly is that I told you I'm not gonna rip apart the appeal of it because it might not be the best looking thing in the world, but let's talk about the size because it is big. Compared to some other devices I reviewed in the past, even the older generations of this, this is the largest one because it features the Halo. I'm so tempted to sing Beyonce right now, but I won't. In one way, I understand it because it's way more comfortable to wear than the other versions of this. But in another way, it's not compact enough to take and just plug and play. You know what I'm saying? Even though it's lightweight, it's a little bit too bulky. But I think the halo is better than having something on your ear. I think we all know from this mask life how annoying it is to have something on your ears for an extended amount of time. So imagine tech on your ears all day, every day. Put a lot in the bad category though. So we're gonna wrap up this video here. If I think of anything else, I will list it over here. As per usual, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are below. If you haven't already, thumbs up, subscribe and share. Click over here if you wanna see some more Struggling with Stargards videos. And until next time, stay safe, stay safe, stay blessed. Love and later.